Hi everyone, back again for my second video of the day. Well, really on a roll today, two in one day, definitely not me. I just want to share my last honeybee journal um, of the year that I'm doing. I'm sort of summered out a little bit now, we're doing summer projects. Um, it's like I've mentioned in a previous video, I'm ready to start autumn, winter. But I'd just like to quickly share this honeybee journal. This um, is actually already sold and I'm sending it to its new home tomorrow. So Chris, if you want it to be a surprise, I'd suggest not to peek. Um, just done a very simple closure. Um, I don't know if you can see on these, I've done some little, I've got little bee charms on just some um, cotton fabric that I've distressed with the Tim Holtz Wild Honey, I think it's called. Um, this is a 6x4 mini journal. It has six signatures and it's quite chunky. Um, if you can see how chunky it is. Um, it's got, I think, a one and three quarter spine, maybe one and a half. Um, it's all been distressed with a, a Wild Honey distress spray um, right so like I said six signatures and I'll just quickly run through it um, before I post it make sure I'm in frame the bane of my life getting journals in frame um, I've just done um, a little pocket on the front with burlap some bee themed ephemera all throughout the journal um, I love this it says um, hurry up old bumblebee uh, take me to that start it's the biggest of the three and it isn't very far I just think it's really cute um, ooh, some bee, I've done, oh, the bee ephemera a paper I've used near a lot of people have asked me where I got it from I got it off um, Etsy off an Etsy seller called Digital Curio and I think it was just called bee papers there was no other name to it I think that's all it says but it says it's digital curio and um, it is on off Etsy. Uh, this isn't one of them. This is just a, uh, some paper I found on Pinterest. I've got also um, a lot of the ephemera is off Pinterest as well. Um, got a little pocket here with um, some little journaling cards. The H uh, is for honeybee. Uh, little paper bag with some more journaling cards although it's quite chunky this one um, Chris obviously she knows she could take everything out it to make it obviously a bit more manageable um, another little journaling card like I said it's six signatures um, I've used a little bit of Artemis paper but I've, sorry um, Andrea I forget the name of the kit at the moment it might be Nature Walk, Rings the Bell um, some Edith Holden that's the beginning and um, the middle of the first signature. Another little um, journaling card. A um, little bee stamp with a little hive with some little bees. Some, another journaling card. Um, all um, backed on coffee dyed paper. I did coffee on this one. Um, some stamping so I like this. I always think it looks a bit like um, a honeycomb, and it's only um, some that poppy plastic thing that everybody loves popping, and I just um, use it with the um, archive link, and I just think it adds a little bit of something to a page. Um, little burlap flip out. Some more paper. I've sprayed some of the papers with um, the wild honey. I've gone mad using that wild honey. Um, this is one of the papers from, I think it is from the Digital Curio shop, or it may be from Etsy. Uh, but I will put a link to the shop um, underneath because a lot of people ask me. There's my lovely bee stamp off Marie. Thank you again, Marie. Some more, um, just done a little bit of gesso and stamping, so a few little bee stamps. Um, a little time card with some journaling space on. A little um, pocket with Be Kind Raw Honey. Another little hive image. Really enjoyed making these bee themed because I do love my bees. Um, and I've done a few of these over the summer. So this, like I said, is my last one now. 
think it's time to move on. Some more little journaling cards. This paper definitely is from um, the Digital Curio. Um, just love it. It's um, all the bees are really big and vibrant. Um, a little bit of fabric with bee stamp. I've done a few little uh, mixed media tags, which I just layered up with corrugated card, a tea bag, um, a little bee image, and some fabric. Some plain paper, more Artemis, Artemis Nature Walk. Um, that's what I love about kits. You can mix and match them in all your projects. Um, you don't have to just tend to use them on the one journal. Um, that's the second signature, the centre of it. More journaling cards, a little corner tuck. And I've just filled spaces up with some scraps of um, I had of paper just for a little extra journaling space. Uh, more bee paper. And this is like script paper, but it does have little bees in, in between the script. Uh, I'd Distress that with the wild honey, it is Tim Holt's wild honey, little few bee stamps. Uh, this is from the kit from Digital Curio. Uh, belly band with a little bee on and a queen bee. Journaling card with some more um, writing, Ex just extra writing space really. Um, beehive stamp. Um, some more bee paper and I've put in um, in the centre of the third signature I've just put a little bee charm on that's on a honeycomb and I just thought uh, if Chris doesn't like it obviously she can remove it and put it elsewhere I'm still in frame yep. uh, another little flip a little bit of um, pom pom which I've uh, distressed more bee stamps I think that paper is um, Calico Collage, Simply Autumn, I think it is. I have put a little bit of that in between because I just like the colours on that. Another journaling card, a small little B one. Some more distressed papers, music paper, a little bit of Tim Holtz, so Wallflower. Oh, I always forget that paper, so I won't even go down that one. Uh, another little mixed media tag says, Don't Stop Believing. Uh, it's got a little bee, which I've does a little collage with a um, corrugated card and some, not cheesecloth, muslin. Um, I always forget what that's called. And they've been gessoed. A little stamp, just because, have a beautiful day. Uh, more Edith Holden in the centre. This is the fourth um, signature. A little, bit of, a little bit more journalist space. And I have put the bee images on um, the common bumblebee. A little pocket, fabric pocket with um, some burlap. A little bee um, cut out. Some more journaling cards. I've tried to Keep me journaling cards sort of in theme. Uh, a few grasses. Like I said, it's very chunky, but a lot at most. It, once all um, the journaling cards and tags are removed, it'll be obviously a lot slimmer to work with. Just a little um, flip out page with some bee stamps, some more music paper. Um, coming into my last signature now. Um, this paper is from the digital collage. Um, might be called Vintage B Collection, or it's just B. I know there's not much of a title to it. Um, some more stamping, Edith Holden, another little B stamp, a belly band with um, some more scrap paper. I hate throwing my scraps out, and I always think it's just okay for making lists and notes on. Like I said, they're easily removed, and once filled, put your own stuff in them. That's what I love about a journal. Once you get it and it's your own, you personalise it and make it your own. Um, the last of the love, the paper I got off Tina, really got it now. I've lost, used all my paper up. But I am going to have a go at doing some, so 
to get, but I don't think mine will turn out anything as nice as that. Am I still filming? Yep, I think so. Just my luck, I'm not, but hey. More music paper. Another little bee stamp. Uh, Edith Holden. Um, little beehive with um, some sunflower. Just a journaling card. Uh, another just because have a beautiful day. Um, at the back I've just put a little side pocket in so you can put whatever you want in your own bits and bobs and papers in. The bottom I've just done a little trim. Um, had some fabric that had this trim so I just distressed it to sort of match in with the journal. Um, we've layered the front up with a um, little bit of burlap and some corrugated card and the honeybee image. Um, hope you like your journal Chris, I've really enjoyed making it. Um, I think, like I said, that's the last of my summer ones now. When we up to 11, ah, oh, still okay. Um, if I can just quickly got time, I'll show you my fabric I got yesterday, which oh, made me want to work on some autumn stuff. I got this. Um, I've actually made my journal covers today with it. Um, these are just some little pieces I have left, which will um, obviously I can make pockets out of. Uh, that was the fifth. Ah, that was the second piece, which are just, um, they're just lovely, they've got all brown leaves and they've just got a really nice vintage feel to them. So I'm looking forward to starting on them. I've already started actually on them, I've made my thing and I'm just going to obviously put some uh, autumn flower fairies from a book which I recently bought on, but that's a video for another day. So once again, thanks for sticking with me while I'm waffling my way through here. Oh, and um, if you haven't seen my previous video, I've done um, a little uh, 500 subby giveaway. Um, it's a little lavender Prima notebook. It should be on the previous video that I've uploaded. I'm going to upload them both now. Um, so that's it. Um, bank holiday mon Monday here in the UK, raining, but... I don't care because I'm inside and I'm off work. Right, have a great day everybody and thanks for subscribing. Thanks, catch you all soon. Bye.